All right, buddy. What type of fish are we hoping to catch today? Um, carp. Carp? And catfish. And catfish? Yeah. What about largemouth bass? That's the main yeah. one, right? Since the weather's warmed up this spring, I've been doing a lot more bass fishing and I thought before the season ends, I wanted to do a quick video on what I think are some of the best lures and baits to use for bass fishing. There we go, got him. So I'll go ahead and start with number four. I put this one on the list just because it's one of my favorite ways to catch a fish, but using uh, any sort of bass popper on the surface, uh, there's probably nothing cooler than watching a bass break the surface of the water to take a popper. I like to use these when the weather's warm enough for the bass to be a little bit more aggressive. So right now is actually a good time of the year where I've had some success with uh, bass poppers. Number three is a white curly tail jig. Now I usually use a pink jig head, but I haven't really noticed much of a difference when I switch it up. I actually have a lot of success with these when I'm fishing for smallmouth bass. If you want to increase your chances a little bit of catching a bass on a curly tail jig, I like to tip it with a worm, uh, like a night crawler, and that usually helps quite a bit. Number two is fishing a wacky rig with a bass worm. If you want to know how to fish a wacky rig or how to set up a wacky rig, you can Google it. There's a lot of videos and pictures online and it's super simple. Now I can still remember fishing with this rig and catching my first notable bass. A bass worm works really well when the weather's a little bit colder and the fish are not quite as aggressive as they usually are. Large mouth. There he goes. He's fat. Last but not least, and probably my favorite lure to catch bass on is a black streamer. Um, now I've tried different colors. Sometimes it's a black streamer with a red head or a pink head or a red stripe through it. Um, they all seem to work pretty well, but it seems like the longer the streamer, the better. The way I like to fish this is I just tie the black streamer onto either a fly rod or a spinning rod. It works on either rod. And then I put a split shot about uh, three to four inches above that streamer. And sometimes I put the split shot like right up against the hook even. And what I do is slowly jig that through a pool. And this fly and all the other lures and baits that I mentioned in this video uh, fish really well by undercut banks or vegetation or any other kind of structure where a bass might be hiding. Bass are ambush predators, so they're gonna be hiding somewhere or close to a hiding spot waiting for their food to come along. So whenever you're fishing for bass, look for structure, rocks, weeds, roots, undercut banks. And if you use any of these lures or baits in the right way, I would say your chances are very high at catching yourself Go a ahead. good bass. So Matthew is fishing in that hole right there. And he had his lure, black woolly bugger. And all of a sudden we see this giant come out from under that little ledge. Thank you. 